Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with the remaining month of July reads start from the 22nd through the 31st of July 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of far Virgo. Uh, I will be adding messages from your person and oracle cards in this read so stay tuned and um, before I dive into the read let me remind you it is a general read it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the signs and messages that resonates and leave the rest for present reads you can always reach out to me on my mail id in the description box you can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box so let's see where go what is happening with you in the remaining month time we do have six of cups uh here and uh yeah um i feel like you know for majority of you um i think there was another card while i was shuffling i think i picked it up with the other cards but i i, I don't even um i can't recall that card as well it was maybe seven of cups or something i really don't know but yes maybe that energy is not for you but um yeah we do have the six of cups card here which signifies that there is a specific someone in your life who is your soulmate um or if there is no person in your love life right now your soulmate might be coming in your life you might be sharing woes with this person you might be like you know ex experiencing a lot of uh, happy um moments with this person in this uh, remaining month time i feel like you know for a majority of you you are being uh, you you are being brought to um to the one that you're destined to be with uh, by the heavens as well in the remaining month time so let's see more cards here what is coming up for you in the remaining month of july time um two of pentacles four of wands five of pentacles and the sun underneath the deck wow so underneath the deck is the cup uh, seven of cups card so that wants to come out still now uh i mean that we do have the three of wands card now for majority of you i do see that um you know for majority of you there is a specific situation that you are dealing with in your love life which is confusing um you could be dealing with a person who you are in on and off relationship sometimes you feel like you know this is your soulmate sometimes you feel like you know no it cannot be the one because uh they don't treat you right deep down you have this inner knowing that this is the one that you want to be with this is the one that you feel like you know as 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 um as uh, the one for you but at the same time you don't see things working out in this connection you you really want this connection to work but always you end up getting something which hurts you which uh, which makes you feel bad which makes you feel unworthy um and i feel like you know in this week time in the remaining month time as well you are still with the one that that you are you know are having in your heart um you are waiting for for things to get better in this connection but then you feel like maybe you need to move on so there is this energy which is going to keep happening for you in this uh, remaining month time where you're going to be like going on and off in your head about this person do you want them do you want to move on do you want to stick around i feel like you know this energy is gonna stay here with you in this uh, remaining month time as well i feel like you know you would feel like you know you need to be with the one you don't want to um you know um it's just more like maybe you're getting fearful that what if uh, the one that i believe is my soulmate is the karmic what shall i do so i do see the confusion taking place here in this uh, remaining month time where you are going to be like you know questioning yourself am i with the right person am i with the wrong person am i you know uh, keeping myself stuck here in the situation now if you are dealing with a situation like this what is the best way to deal with it stop thinking about that specific someone that you are dealing with right now start manifesting your life partner don't keep yourself stuck thinking about a specific someone think about a kind of relationship that you want to have loving fulfilling getting you know married to that specific someone living a life that is full of uh, abundance happiness commitment a uh, lot of time together as as you would if, if you were married to this person so start you know imagining visualizing feeling that vibe already entering in your life because that's going to bring you what you want that's going to bring you what you what you truly desire because if you expect things from you know coming from this person who you believe is your soulmate they will never come because you might have some mental blocks around this person which keeps you kind of you know hanging in there and then unable to you know it's it's not letting you move on with your life as well so what shall you do in this situation i feel like you know for majority of you right now you need to focus on the end result happy married life with the ideal person that you have on your mind when i say ideal person i don't mean you you need to think of your specific someone you need to think of the kind of person that you want to end up with how that person is going to treat you how that person is going to love you how that person is like you know taking care of you how that person is adding a lot of you know 
uh, stability in your life. So you have to think about the good times that you're going to be having um, in your life right now if you were already with that person. So you have to manifest that shift in your life right now in this uh, you know, remaining month's time to create the life that you desire with your specific someone. I feel like you know you need to stop going on and off in your head about it. You know, shall I wait for this person? Shall I move on? You just need to think of the kind of person or the kind of relationship that you desire for yourself. Every time you think of your love life, make sure you think of a uh, the kind of love life that you desire, not the kind of uh, love life that you desire with this specific someone because it's not going to manifest otherwise for majority of you. Um, let me see some more cards here. What else is happening for you in the remaining month of uh, July time? What else is coming in? Because I feel like you know, you're keeping yourself stuck because you're indecisive. Do I need to move on? Do I need to stick, or stick around? Uh, you have to stop doing that to yourself. You have to have that clarity and understanding that no, this is what you want. You want an ideal relationship. You want an ideal connection. You want to get married. That's what you want. That's what you desire. Now, who is that going to be? Like, you know, who's that person going to be? You don't, uh, you don't have to think about it. Whoever you're destined to be with, that person will enter in your life. Even if it's this one that you want or even if it's somebody new, that person will show up. Stop confusing yourself by thinking like, you know, shall I move on, shall I not? Because it's not going to help you move on. It's not going to change anything in your love life. So just just stop doing that to yourself and focus on your uh, you manifesting your um, your ideal love life that you seek. Let's see the messages coming from your person, whoever it is that's going to be your soulmate. What is their message for you? I'm trying to think what I want to say to you. Wow, so it can be a new person, maybe somebody who has a crush on you, who wants to come up front about their feelings to you. I don't want to wait longer, please be mine. So this person could be somebody that you know already, but they have never expressed their feelings to you. Um, can you hear me whisper your name? I feel like you know, for some of you, maybe this person is a new person because maybe right now you're stuck on a post person thinking that they are the one for you, but maybe the one that you are destined to be with is yet to enter in your life because I feel like, you know, this person seems to be having a new energy coming, you know, uh, with them. It seems like, you know, they, they, they are wishing and hoping to be with their soulmate. Maybe they are somebody that you haven't met already also. Um, I feel like, you know, it's, um, it's, it's just going to be like, you know, somebody who you might have not met even, uh, but yeah, let's see what the Oracle has to add. Because I really feel like you know there is some uh, you know new energy seeming uh, seeming coming to towards you here with these um, messages as well because somebody wants you to know that they're coming towards you and this person seems to be unknown. Um, anger safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. I feel like you know maybe right now you're you're so um, angry on yourself for for being with the wrong people for being on the waiting side you want to move on you want to stick around but then you feel very uh, anxious about you know what's going to happen as well and then you feel very angry on yourself for being doing what you have been doing it's time for you to stop and start um, having another pattern in your thoughts about about a new person, a person who 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 is exactly how you wanted your life partner to be. Focus on to that person who loves you, who gives you time, who values you, who who brings you the happiness that you seek. That person will come in. That person is going to come through. Who's going to value you? And I feel like you know, it's very important for you to stay courageous enough to take that solid step for yourself. Because once you decide that this is what you want to do, nothing in this world can stop you. Or I feel like you know, for those of you who are going on enough in your head, shall I wait? Shall I move on? It's time for you to move on and allow that person, whoever it is that you're destined to come, enter in your life. Courage, you are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. I feel like in you know, a majority of you, you might have the tendency of going back to the old person. The divine really wants you to set strong boundaries. Uh, don't go backward towards the old patterns of dealing with person, relationship and everything. It's high time that you start making a new pattern for yourself where you allow the new energy to enter in your life who can love you, value you exactly the way you want to be valued and loved. So um, let's see last uh, card of the read. What else do you need to do to have what you desire? in your love life nurture as you nurture a child you nurture your own inner child both activities are important for you right now it's very important for you to nurture yourself whatever ideas that you have around your love life you have to nurture those ideas you have to spend time daydream about it stop 
limiting yourself in a way where you start feeling like maybe it's not possible maybe it's never gonna happen with me you have to think like like a like a child like you know without any limitations just feel good about whatever it is that you want to manifest for yourself and that's how you are going to get what you desire so i feel like and it's very important for you to dream big and let that dream come reality because i feel like you know there is somebody coming in your life who is going to love you value you exactly the way you want just that you have to set boundaries that no you're not going to do the same old mistakes again so you shall be um given what you desire no more selfing and for less just reach for the sky because sky is the limit for you so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this uh, remaining month of july time if it was of help do like share and subscribe till i do the next read for you guys take care bye